If you are a new AR-15 owner or you're thinking about purchasing your first AR-15 rifle and you want to understand your barrel's twist rate, this video is for you. Welcome to my channel, I'm Andy, and this video is the first in a series of three videos I'm going to do regarding AR-15 barrel twist rate, the bullet weights that are available in an AR-15 rifle, and how the twist rate and the bullet weight affects bullet stability, which ultimately affects accuracy downrange. If you watch all three videos, I am confident that you will have a complete understanding of how to accomplish the uh, most accurate shooting out of your rifle. And I also believe that this will save you lots of valuable time and money doing this. When I first bought my AR-15, my first rifle anyway, um, I did watch videos on shooting and I got a lot of misinformation out there that made me spend a lot of money on ammunition I didn't need and wasted a lot of time at the range that I could have been doing other things. So this is why I decided to make these videos. Well, we're going to start off with rifling, and I believe everybody understands that there is rifling in a, in a barrel. If we look down the barrel, we can see that the rifling is made of two things, lands and grooves. The lands being the high points in the barrel and the grooves being the low points in the barrel. The lands are actually the part of the barrel that grabs onto our bullet as it speeds down the barrel, and the lands and grooves are twisting in the barrel uh, from the chamber end down to the crown of the barrel. And what this does is it imparts spin onto the bullet as it goes down the barrel, and once it leaves the barrel, hopefully we have a nice tight spiral football going down the uh, shooting range and not some ugly wounded duck like this going down the range. So most AR-15 rifles that are produced today, modern AR-15 rifles, come in three different types of rifling, a one in seven, a one in eight, and a one in nine. Well, what do those numbers mean? A one in seven means that for every seven inches of barrel that we have, our bullet will make one complete revolution. Like this. In a 1 in 8 rifle, for every uh, 8 inches of barrel, our bullet will make one revolution. And in a 1 in 9, our uh, uh, bullet will make a revolution every 9 inches of barrel. So there are three types of uh, barrels. I mean, there's more than that. There's the Vietnam era rifling, which is 1 in 12. And you'll see that in older 1970s rifles, or you can get uh, a rifle from Brownells, I believe, a retro rifle and that. But we're not going to talk about uh, those types of chamberings today. So how do we determine what our rifle is? Well, it's generally located on the top of the rifle here on the barrel, what the uh, twist rate is on the bottom of the barrel, or sometimes it's located under the handguard. So I will change positions uh, with the camera and we'll take a look at what the uh, marks look like. All right, we've got our uh, camera angle changed here. And as you can see, we're looking at the top of the barrel, the 12 o'clock position. Um, and we can see right here that it says RRA. So we got Rock uh, River Arms 5.56 NATO. And then we have a 1 slash 9 CM. So the uh, 1 slash 9 is our barrel twist rate, meaning that we have a 1 in 9 twist barrel. So for every 9 inches of um, length of this barrel, our bullet will make one revolution inside the barrel. Okay, now that we can see what our markings look like, um, let's take a look at the 16 inch barrel that we have here. And so because we have a 16 inch barrel and a one in nine twist, we are going to have 1.77 revolutions in the barrel. The bullet will make 1.77 revolutions before it leaves the barrel. If this rifle was a one in eight twist, the bullet would make two complete revolutions before it left the end of the barrel 
If it was a one in seven, it would make 2.2 revolutions before it left the end of the barrel. Now, you don't have to memorize these numbers. These are just for your educational purposes. So if we had a 20 inch barrel and a one and nine inch twist, we would get 2.2 revolutions before the bullet left the barrel. A one in eight would give us 2.5 revolutions of the bullet, and a one in seven would be a 2.8 revolutions uh, of the bullet before it left the barrel. So a one in seven is our fastest twist rate. The one in eight is kind of a medium twist rate, and the one in nine is the slowest twist rate, notwithstanding the one in 12 Vietnam era uh, bullets. So I hope you found this video helpful. I encourage you to watch part two, which is gonna discuss bullet weight, and then part three, where we're gonna tie this all together regarding bullet stability. Thank you for watching.